now that we have our data back from the API, I want to show all this information that we get back that will be a good visual for our customer to be able to follow up on whether their SMS was a success or it was a failure, just like our WooCommerce does with our orders. So you should be able to have a status that shows it's okay uh, with a little green button and the cost showing on how much was the SMS and so on. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a custom post type just to store that information. We already know it's on the server side, but eventually we'll use it in a, a number of things here and there. So let's jump right into the code to do that. So in add rows, let's register in custom post type. Custom SMS post. So this is the file that we shall use to register that. So it includes, I'll add a new file here, come to it, add PHP. And then let's just look up how to add a custom post type from the codex. Now when we come here, I'll just pick this small uh, query just to get us kick started. And so we shall name this SMS messages. We can call it messages, give or take. It has a menu icon of, uh, we're using dash icon book. Um, let me see if I can get a different dash icon that will speak uh, volume. So I'll go to dash icons. And then we see some envelopes here. Look for this and just call it uh, email alt two. So we'll get email alt to replace here, and then we shall just have everything else that we've called a book, and we'll just call it SMS. So I'll save this, and then come back, reload, and we have our messages right here. So if I click messages, we have it here. Uh, we can add a new message if we want to uh, right here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some supports, and I'll remove some things that I actually don't need, so supports. And this requires an array information. And in here, I'm just going to pass in a title because that's what I need right now. So I'll reload this. And we see that our body actually goes away. So in here, I'm just going to add a couple of meta fields that will be storing a couple of things. So I'm going to add a field that will store the numbers. I'm going to add a field that will actually store the sender ID and uh, that will be all. So 